I am going to show you how to interchange the sampling heads for the HASDAS-4. The HASDAS-1004 can monitor for thoracic, respirables, and inhalables. The first one I'm going to show you is thoracic. I'm going to take the sensor and the TS-104 sampling head. We are going to insert the TS-104 sampling head into the bottom of the sensor. It should be a firm, snug O-ring fit. Just simply push in. And you're going to want to make sure that the hole is actually facing out and the part number label is facing you. Take the brown filter cassette holder and insert it into the top of the sensor. Again, it's going to be a firm O-ring fit. Take the black tube and insert that into the top of the filter cassette holder. The next one I'm going to show you is respirables. So we're going to need to remove the thoracic sampling head, the TS-104. And we are going to need the RS-104, which is the SKCGS cyclone. In order to use the SKCGS cyclone, you're actually going to need the GSA-204 adapter. The GSA-204 adapter fits into the top of the SKC cyclone. You're going to make sure that the O-ring is actually facing up, and simply push it in. Take the SKC cyclone and insert it into the bottom of the sensor. And now you may monitor for respirables. To monitor for inhalables, you will need to remove the cyclone, GSC cyclone. And now you can monitor for inhalables. If you want to cross calibrate and use an SKC 25 millimeter filter, you may do so. In order to do that, you're going to actually flip the sensor around and you're going to see two thumb screws. Remove the screws make sure you have removed the black tube remove the brown filter cassette take the sensor out of the mounting plate take the SKC 25 millimeter filter and insert it into the back of the sensor. When remounting the sensor to the mounting plate, an easy way to figure out how to do this is you're actually going to want to match up the clips. So you match up the clips, make sure that the wording, as Casey, you'll see it, is facing out and facing up. And you're going to flip the sensor over and on the bottom you're going to see where you attach the thumb screws. Now that they are attached, you can clip to your lapel and monitor for inhalables.